First of all, the notion of Keystone individuals is born out of a recognition of the significance of Keystone species. And for a lot of us, we've got a, a fairly clear idea of what a Keystone species is. In a nutshell, it's a species that if you had to take that species out of the ecosystem, those ecosystems would be severely challenged or collapse. So you've got kelp off our coastline here, keystone species. You take kelp out of, out of, out of the ocean here, thousands of other species will die. The, the, depends on it, the dependence on it is phenomenal. Um, the big question arises of are human beings a keystone species? And the long and short of it is no. And uh, I know that when I, when I first considered that, I sort of felt, oh, wait a minute, that's, that's to me is like a challenge, you know? And it is a challenge, is that if you're not a keystone species, then what, what are we? You know, are we parasites on, the, on this planet, or what are we? Well, out of that then came the notion of, hey, if we're aware of what is happening to the environment through us and because of us, what about the notion of keystone individuals? And that relates to the individuals who really do care and who do make a difference. And, I mean, as I speak, there are hosts Keystone individuals in the world that, that I would certainly call them that. You know, and they're not just the David Attenboroughs and the Jane Goodalls of the world. Um, there are a lot of individuals at, on, on all levels who, damn it, thanks to them, they, they, they're doing the right thing.